Monday, it's time for another Automotive Monday here in the Automotive Department at Sinclair College. My name is Troy Singleton, and today we are going to talk about catalytic converters. Now, first the name, catalytic converters. Catalytic because of the catalyst. A catalyst is something that is part of a chemical reaction but does not get consumed, so that's the catalytic part. And then converters because we're actually going to convert the toxic gases coming out of the engine, we're going to convert those to less toxic gases. Now, as far as the converter, it is probably the most important device in reducing emissions coming out of the engine. So it's something that's really regulated by the EPA. Now, as far as you as a consumer, you don't really have to worry about the catalytic converter other than if you've been watching our videos and following our videos, knowing that vehicle maintenance is something that's very important. So if you leave things go over time, for instance, a coolant leak or you have coolant or oil coming out of the tailpipe, that is actually coating the inside of the catalytic converter. We call that contamination. Also, if you spend a lot of time idling or you have a condition where the engine is overheating, we could actually melt the inside of the catalytic converter. Also, the air fuel ratio, so if you're driving with your check engine light on or worse, the check engine light is flashing. Most manufacturers recommend if that check engine light is flashing, you stop driving your vehicle because what's actually happening is we're probably injecting more fuel than required. All of that fuel is ending up in the catalytic converter and it's detrimental to the catalytic converter. Now the catalytic converter itself should be a lifetime part. There's really nothing to wear out. Again, other things can happen to it if you do not maintain your vehicle. As far as what goes into the engine, before we talk about the cat, the catalytic converter, as far as what goes in the engine, we have air and fuel. Air, the air that we breathe is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. And then of course fuel is a combination of hydrocarbons and other things. Well, there's a ratio. 14.7 to 1 is the ratio. So 14.7 parts air for every one part fuel. That's going into the engine. Then after the combustion process, what's coming out of the engine are hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, and then of course we have oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay? But these three gases, these are the gases that we're concerned about lowering. So those gases are what are going into the catalytic converter itself. Now as far as its construction, there are actually two blocks and they are made of ceramic and they are sprayed with some of the precious metals, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. We also put cerium in there. The cool thing about cerium is it's going to absorb and hang on to oxygen until we need it. Now the catalytic converter itself, I have an example here. Okay, is located in the exhaust stream, typically up really close to the engine because we need the heat from the engine to start the chemical reaction. For the chemical reaction action to start, we need about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Now the chemical reaction inside the catalytic converter is actually going to heat the catalytic converter up even more. When this thing is fully effective, fully efficient, about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Hence the reason for the heat shields to kind of protect that from other parts, or other parts of the vehicle rather. Now, as far as the two blocks, the first block, we have platinum and rhodium. And the purpose of that is when the oxides of nitrogen hit the platinum and the rhodium, that's our catalyst, is actually gonna separate the oxides of nitrogen into oxygen and nitrogen, okay? Then that is gonna go into the second block where we have platinum and palladium. We need the oxygen from this block and from the cerium Okay, the cerium, and we're going to take heat plus oxygen, and that's going to help us take the CO and the oxygen, combine that into CO2. Now, we also have unburnt fuel. Unburnt fuel is going to be hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. So the oxygen from this part is going to help change this into CO2, which is carbon dioxide, and water. So a lot of times you'll notice when somebody drives away, you'll see water dripping out of the tailpipe. That is because of the chemical reaction that's happening inside the catalytic converter. Now, to talk more about the chemistry of what's going on inside the cat, we actually have a guest today. And our guest is Mike from Science with Mike. Now, if you're watching the videos and been following the videos, uh, him and I did a joint video where we talked about airbags and we actually blew an airbag. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that one, definitely want to watch that video. All right, Mike, come on down. Hey, Troy, good to see you. Good to see you again. You guys got a nice high ceiling. That's probably... Yeah. 
Okay, two things. Yeah. First of all, can you help us out with a cutaway? Uh, sure, I'm real handy. Okay, yeah. and then the second thing, you want to explain the chemistry behind combustion and yeah. what's going on inside the catalytic converter? Absolutely, yes okay. I will. Combustion is actually uh, something that theoretically would produce CO2 and water, as Troy said. That would be perfect, right? However, you need a lot of oxygen to have complete combustion. Also, your fuel isn't pure. Do you want your fuel to be pure and there wouldn't be any contaminants to the environment? I heard you say yes. Do you want to spend 20 bucks a gallon? I heard you say no. So what you've got are some impurities, which are usually called SOX and NOX, but the most prevalent is NOx, nitrogen oxides, nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide. Those combine with the moisture in the environment and make acid rain. Not good stuff. Also very toxic. Uh, we dissolved a penny in nitric acid on Science with Mike uh, last episode. That brown gas is nitrogen dioxide. Then you got carbon monoxide, which is when you don't oxidize or combust the carbon in the fuel all the way to CO2. That's extremely toxic. It has 200 times the affinity for your hemoglobin than the oxygen. It binds to the stuff that takes your oxygen to your cells in your brain, causing a condition called death. Like we, we want to get rid of that, obviously. Then there's just uncombusted fuel. We actually have two problems here, chemical, uh, chemical problems. This needs to have the oxygen stripped off of it. That's called reduction. This and this need more oxygen slapped on it until it's CO2. That's called oxidation. And both of those happen in a cat converter, and that's why there's two compartments in there. Now I'm gonna go do some manly stuff, because that's believable. <laughs> All right, man, great job on the cutaways oh, thanks. there. You see my, my craftsmanship there? That is just there? unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of it. <laughs> now we want to show you just again the two blocks inside the catalytic converter. So, okay, this is the where, where it's coming in from the... Uh, uh, from the engine. Yeah, yep. and, and so this is your reduction, and that's your oxidation. Exactly, so engine side, tailpipe side. And again, most of your catalytic converters, especially your aftermarket, are going to be marked with an arrow. Cool. Wow, never seen one of them before. I'm glad I did all that work to get that thing. Yes, we really appreciate it. That's yeah, I know, that was job. great. That was right. great. Well, I can't believe it's still hot. Yeah, it's still yeah, hot. Watch out, it? don't touch it. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> all right, good, good to be back. Yeah, appreciate your time. No and, damage. Yeah. <laughs> we look forward to the next video. All right, what I do think we have to do next. Um, something that we don't break anything in the ceiling. No promises on that, though, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>